Me, my family are punts through and through. If punts is watching this, please do pay pay up. My family is looking for their royalties. date night and I thought let me take you guys through my skin journey but let me get comfortable get out of this tight dress and take it to the bathroom Your knuckles are so dark, your knuckles. And I just 
Um, that's, that's what makeup was. And I must say, I'm not even that good at it. Uh, I'm out here watching the toughest YouTube videos every single time I put it on. Even before I went out tonight, I was watching a K-Yang's video. Yeah, I think makeup is like, it's an art. You gotta know the foundations, the concealers, the everything. And for me, that's the first problem is that I don't know what my skin color is or my foundation color is. And trust me, I've been to those ladies at Tricks, I've been to those ladies at True Words, and they don't know who I am. And I think it's because of the acne, I mean, I've got dark spots, so like, do I go lighter, because generally I'm lighter, or do I go darker to cover it up? <gasps> it's been a mess. So to anyone with some suggestions on how to color correct, and how to get the right skin tone for me, uh, please put your suggestions in the comments. I would love to know how to get better. Um, yeah, but makeup, makeup is becoming my friend, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be besties one day. One of the next questions is: Have I found confidence in my skin? Uh, It's a work in progress. It's not all the way there. Which is scary because I'm like turning a corner and I still feel like I haven't maybe found it. Um, I'm better though, you know, and I'm working on it. But there's, there's things that I would love to have that I don't have yet. But those are also things I don't even know how to get. I mentioned my face, but for me my skin is literally head to toe. And you know, just even skin tone is like first on my list. And I haven't found my confidence in that. Um, I have some weird skin rash things that go on on my elbows and I'm just like from where? From where do you come from? Like what is this? Why are you like this? Those are the conversations I have with my elbows. Um, yeah and all the places that are just so much darker than the rest of me. In between my thighs. Oh, oh, primary school ruined me. Wearing those dresses and the chafing of my thighs, <sighs> nuts. Um, so yeah, when I nitpick, it, it can go dark. But you know, when I when I look at myself, look at pictures of myself, go all the way from like high school and come with it till today, I think I'm I'm getting better at it, and I'm, it makes me happy. Because that means it's gonna only get better. Um, and that's exciting. The last question is about generational skincare tips. So, what have I learned from my grandmother all the way down to my mother and sisters? Uh, obvious, nothing, nothing, nothing. But let's start after I wash my face. I usually go in with some sort of a cortisol cream. It lightens my dark spots, which is something only me I have. Uh, but if I s just remember my grandmother and my mother, my sister, they all wash the face and then they use toners. I haven't found the right toner, so once again, in the comment section, please let me know for people who have acne, what kind of toner are you guys using? Mm, tell me, what would you suggest? I've seen some 
you know, DIY ones, but I'm like, I'm not too sure. Should I be putting rose water and water and putting that on my face? I'm so afraid of, you know, going back to who I was. So that's why I, I, I'm very strict. I use very limited products. Um, so I go in with something like this on my spots. Subscribe and share with all your friends. 